All right, hey everyone, welcome to another video. Um, today I've got my new wheels at home and here they are. Ah, oh, they are beautiful. So, to make a long story short, um, I sold the S15 on the same wheels that you are looking at right now. I bought Japan Racing JR5s and painted them white and then put them on the S15 and it ended up being my favorite mod on the entire car. Now I know these are reps, but these are not the wheels I'm gonna have on my R34 permanently. Um, but I did miss having them. And my original plan was to take the wheels off the S15 and keep them for the R34. But I ended up letting them go with the car because the guy who bought the car off me was just so hassle-free about the whole thing. So I was just like, do you know what, mate? I haven't put tires on the 350Z wheels yet, so I'll let you take the car as it is. Um, however, the 350Z wheels actually have a problem, which is also partially why I've gone and bought these. So let me show you guys. All right, so if we come look at the R34 with the 350Z wheels on, um, they're kind of, they're, they're not in great condition. This one's not really bad at all. Just a slight curb marking there. I think this is the worst one. Um, that's bent. That's not a proper circle. And other than that, this wheel's actually not too bad. Coming along to this side of the car, this is curved starting from, actually, do you know what? It's curved the whole way around. And it's also got tire marks that won't come off. Paint that's come off, more tire marks, more tire marks and none of this stuff wants to come off. It's even got corrosion on the Nissan badge there. Uh, not too terrible, but it's curved starting from there. More there going all the way around and stopping about there. And then there's tire marks that also won't come off. So all four of these wheels need work. Now, the problem is if I take all four wheels off the car, to get them done, then I'm gonna have no, no wheels to put on the car while these wheels are getting the work done. So for that reason, I decided to shop online and found this set of Japan Racing JR5s. Now, these are also not perfect. They're very dirty. I'm gonna clean them in a second. Thing is with these, I'm not too upset about that because I plan on painting these a different color anyway. So I'm just gonna get them refurbished. That's part of the plan for these. Uh, no curb markings on that one. Actually, no, it's a tiny one there, tiny one there. They're, like, they're all tiny on these wheels. This wheel's got a bit of a ding here. That's been curbed pretty bad. But at least it's not actually bent the wheel. That's literally just the outer lip that's lost its shape a tiny bit. And then this wheel's also touched a couple curves in its lifetime, but it's not as bad as the 350Z wheels on the Skyline right now. Time to clean these. Okay, that's just pathetic, what the hell. That would be because I've barely got any of this left. So let me mount this camera somewhere and do this properly. <laughs> Okay, so I've just finished my bottle of Dragon's Breath. Uh, since the wheels are not mounted to a car, I also decided that I'm gonna do the barrels. Um, they are very dirty right now. Like that's literally my hands just from carrying these wheels. But I have been told that they actually clean up really nicely. So hopefully we'll see some good results. So. I would actually say these have come out pretty nice. Obviously, I'm not in love with it because it's not the color I'd really choose, but bronze wheels on a white car is probably gonna look pretty decent. But yeah, I'm probably still gonna get these refurbed and powder coated in a different color, more to my taste. 
to get the skyline looking good. I also forgot to mention that these are actually 19 by 9.5 plus 22s. Um, I decided to go for 19 inch reels this time because R34s seem to eat up a 19 inch reel pretty decently and it also means I can fill the arches and have nice fitment without having the car so low to the ground like I did with the S15 so it should also be better for drivability hopefully. So yeah, um, at some point in this video I'm going to try one of the reels on. I still can't believe that fits, I just need to get the key for this tuning up. Alright, so here we have an R34 GTT body with a 19 by 9.5 plus 22 with two 75 30 19s on the front of it and it fits. I'm in disbelief. <laughs> but I'm also happy because it means I don't have to regret buying these wheels and I actually think the white on bronze looks pretty nice even though I'm going to change it. But, I mean obviously they stick out right now, but the car's still on stock suspension, so as soon as I lower it, add a bit of camber, I haven't even rolled the front arches yet, so even when I do that as well, this is actually going to work. I'm probably going to go down to like a, I don't know, a 245, 4019 or something, so thinner at the front. These tyres are actually pretty good, so I'll put these on the back, but I think two of the tyres on the other wheels need replacing, so I'll get smaller ones for those and run them up front, but it fits. So yeah, this is the look for now. Obviously, I'm still waiting to get the car on the road so I can drive it, take it to the garage, get the car in the air and do the coilovers. But I'll take that. <laughs> Same wheels I had on the S15 and they look sick on an R34 too. So yeah, I'm pretty bloody happy with that. Right, okay then guys, so the car's jacked up at the moment. I actually forgot to continue vlogging, but I've got the left side wheels on and oh mate i'm so happy i think the car looks amazing like this uh 19 inch wheels on the front and the back they fit in the arches no problem the fronts have a tiny bit of lo um, rub but only on the arch liner on full lock so that's not really going to be a problem um obviously still waiting for the dvla they haven't sent me my documents so i can ensure and start driving this car yet but as soon as i can i'm going to be taking the car to my friend's garage so we can get the coilovers fitted. Then we're gonna lower the car with that, add some camber, and then we'll be able to actually get the car sitting nice. But I really like the look of this. I'm <laughs> very happy with that. So yeah, I'm gonna jack the car up, take these wheels off, put the 350Z wheels back on now, and then once the car's on the road, I'll be taking these wheels and the car to a garage and get them fitted properly. I still need to roll the arches as well, but <laughs> can't really be bothered to do too much today I'm it's very warm and I'm very tired so yeah um, just thought I'd show make this quick video for you guys just showing the latest update on the car um, <laughs> I'm quite happy with what I've done in a month to be fair so yeah I'll keep the videos coming as much as I can whenever there's updates with the car and stuff thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in a little bit peace out